A friend of mine was recently asking, how do you go about in Substance 3D Painter directly painting normal map information into um, a layer or something like that so that you can directly edit your normal maps? So for example, I have baked these mesh maps and I have a normal texture, a world space normal ID, and so on, and curvature, and all these other textures. I baked them from a high resolution model down to my low resolution mesh, which is this little cute little dude here with his eyeballs bugging out. And I want to change it. Let's say I have some mistakes. And this is a really clean bake, so I don't have any problems. But typically, when you do bake a normal map, or not typically, but often, you can have little problems that you want to hand paint out little areas, such as between fingers or something like that, little pinched areas that are hard to get the correct um, uh, the correct baking information there you might want to just go ahead and custom edit your normal map information for example if I go here to my view mode and change it I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see mesh maps make sure you're under mesh maps here click on normal you can see what that normal mesh map looks like just like you can look at your ID map or you can look at your position map or something like that um, going to normal map here, we might want to paint and fix some mistake that might be, say, between the fingers or something like that. So how do you do that in Substance 3D Painter? Well, if you're familiar with Photoshop, back in the day, when well, you might just export whatever normal map you have, bring it into Photoshop, use your smudge tool and smoosh it out and paint it out and everything like that, save it out, and that fixes it. But you can't directly view the results of your edits there in Photoshop. You can do this, however, in Substance 3D Painter. It just requires a little bit of setup. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that really quick. First things first, what you wanna do, let's go ahead and go back to our lighting mode of just material, where we can see the little waistband here. Go to our Texture Set Settings tab, and if you scroll down, you'll see these mesh maps that you have already baked, assumedly, and it, I, not, this video is not to walk you through baking textures, so let's just assume you've already done this. And just for give an example, you have these empty holes here which you can fill with textures. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to my asset library and under all libraries I'm going to change it to my project and make sure I'm looking at just my textures, this little woven little icon here as opposed to these other ones. And if I look in here I will see my ambient occlusion map right, which one is the one I want? I think this probably is the one I want. I'm going to drag it in here, drop it over this hole here and now I have, um, you can see that little pop there that happened and it updated and there's these shadows of my ambient occlusion information. I've done that already with my normal map, so it's here. Now the thing is with mesh maps, that's what these are, baked from one mesh to another, these are not directly editable in Substance 3D Painter. The program protects these things and you can layer information on top of them. So what you do in order to enable that is here under Texture Set Settings, go right above your mesh maps, you'll see this little button here, where it's, or this drop down where it says Normal Mixing. By default, it is set to Combine. Change that to Replace. Now we've changed it to replace, we can go ahead and layer things on top of it, replacing the underlying uh, um, normal, uh, normal map information. Go to your layers stack here, and here I just cleared out all my layers just to keep things simple. I'm going to create a default fill layer, just a blank fill layer right now, and there it is. Okay, and some interesting things happen. Looks like my normal map information has disappeared. What we're going to do here now is we're going to drag this up on this with this fill layer um, selected. I'm going to um, disable all the channels except for the normal map channel. You'll see some extra ones here. Just ignore those. I just use those on a regular basis. They're my custom channels that I use. Hold down Alt, click on the Norm button. It disables all these, and all that is enabled is the normal map channel. So this information has now disappeared. Now, how do we get it back? Well, what you do is you go over here to whatever um, normal map that it is that you want to that that is set here as your your um, right under here we go under the mesh map slot. Just grab that same texture and drag it onto this little hole right here, this little slot right here for the normal map uniform color. Click and drag it over, let it go, and our normal map information has come back. Now, we might notice here, however, there's some peculiar things going on here. My shading's all messed up. I have these crazy seams that didn't exist there before. This is a very classic problem with normal maps. All that's happened is, is that it is, it is placing it into our scene with the wrong color space information. Color space is used to indicate the, the, how the renderer is reading this information that is on this normal map. There are different standards. Just to keep it really simple, what you want to use if you're working with Substance 3D Painter is, unless you have it set to a different setting, is go to Direct3D Normal, DirectX, 
that, as you can see, corrected everything, okay? It just basically, it flips the green channel. It's a little more complicated than what I really want to get into right now, but just make sure when you create this fill layer, when you drop this little normal up into there, change it to color space DX or direct 3D normal, okay? Now that we've got that, we've got to create another layer on, wait a minute, first of all, before we go to that, let's go ahead and change the blend mode for our normal channel. In order to change blend mode for each individual channel, you click this drop down, and you can work with base color. You can change the height channel from linear dodge to something else. You can change ambient occlusion from multiply to something else. These are the default blending modes, as you might be familiar from Photoshop, that Substance 3D Painter sets these different layers in when you create them. So um, we're gonna go down to our normal map um, uh, material channel, okay? And the default blending mode here that it uses is normal map detail. We want to change that to normal. Now that starts to get confusing. Normal here and normal here. What do these have to do with each other? The answer is absolutely nothing, really. This means normal in the sense of being typical, standard. Okay, not as nothing to do with normal map textures. Here, a normal map, a normal is essentially a, a, a the direction on the surface of a model that points to give you an idea of curvature it is the uh, it is like a perpendicular to the surface of a of a polygon okay or a particular pixel if you don't understand that you're gonna have to do some homework and figure it out but the point is though here this is talking about the normal map channel this is referring to a typical normal blending mode don't get these confused they're not the same thing okay um, that said if you uh, have this set here, now I can edit the, the, since I'm in normal viewing mode, I can change this blend mode to normal, okay, normal blending mode, and that fills it in. If I hide this, you don't see any changes because what's happening here is when it's hidden, you're seeing this underlying normal um, map channel, and when it's placed there, now you're seeing the layer. They are identical copies of one another, so it doesn't seem like anything's happening. But now we want to do the part where we can edit it. We can paint on top of it. How do we do that? create a new blank add a layer here, a little paint layer here. Nothing seems to have changed. Um, so that's because it hasn't, it's an empty layer. There's no pixels in it. Make sure that you are again in your normal paint layer or view, um, uh, uh, normal channels um, editing mode here. Go to the blend mode and change it to normal as well. This is what allows you to replace the underlying pixels, okay? So uh, then once you have that set up by default, we're going to have all these maps uh, channels um, enabled here. We don't want this. We just want normal enabled. Hold again, hold down Alt, click on normal. Make sure the other one's the same way. Yep, these are all disabled. Just normal is working. So now watch what happens when I have here. I have this default kind of little purplish blue lavender color. If I start painting, stuff starts disappearing. You can see that normal map instantly starts going away. And, but you're still seeing these little lines here. What's happening there, if you do see these little remnants here, it's like you can see that the height information is disappearing. This little shadow here is is staying behind, but the actual um, bumpiness is vanishing when I paint on here. What's going on is this is just the ambient occlusion. If I were to hide or get rid of my ambient occlusion temporarily, it goes away, as you can see. Now I'm literally just essentially erasing it by painting this default normal matte blue, which means Essentially, there's no left point up to the normal or right or up or down or in and out or whatever. It's just flat. This is just a flat normal color. Um, in if you like, let's say let's say you want to go ahead and just paint it so you can see these colors. Let's go ahead and just take a look. How would we do that? Click on the the view mode under material for change it from material. Scroll all the way down under mesh maps. If you look at the normal channel here, you will see your underlying normal map there again. Now you might think, okay, well, I'm in layers. I'm in my paint layer. I got my paint right here and everything's good. And I got my paintbrush and start painting. And then I get this annoying little message here. Mesh maps are not paintable. I go here, mesh maps are not paintable. And that's where you bang your head against the keyboard and start screaming at the guy who made the tutorial because he's obviously lying to you. That's not true. What happens is, is that we're, it, it, Substance 3D Painter takes into account what mode you're viewing here, okay? Or if you are, it takes into account, for instance, if you are looking at the mesh maps, normal map, these are view only. You can only view them, you can't edit them here by painting into them. Mesh maps are not paintable, these are mesh maps. Change that instead, scroll all the way to the top. Under the standard material uh, view mode, go down to the single channel normal view mode. 
Now it looks different. Here, I can paint to my heart's content, and I can just get rid of stuff. And in fact, I can even get in here if I really wanted to. Let's, let's change our brush size quite a bit here. If I wanted to use this eyedropper tool, let's say I had some stray pixels I wanted to correct, I could go use the eyedropper, and I can change it to a different color, like this little cyan, and I can sort of blend it in here, and I can even um, use the smudge tool if I want, and I can smudge it around. Of course, that messes some stuff up if you don't know what you're doing. The point is, is here I can edit individual pixels if I want. I can paint over little mistakes that I made in my baking process. This is where you can um, really get in there if you really know your stuff and you can create um, edits to your normal channel. And this is just an editable layer. I can hide it, get rid of it. I can create multiple layers if I want. I can even create a brand new fill layer and set it to normal here and change, pick whatever color that I want and add a mask to it and start painting into that mask with, uh, say, the white there. Uh, it's not working right now. I'm obviously doing something goofy, but, oh, it's because I didn't change my mode here to normal. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. It's gone. See that? So that works with both new fill layers as long as you change your uh, blending mode to normal and with direct paint layers here. And this allows you to edit your normal map six ways from Sunday. Then, of course, you have to um, bake out, or excuse me, to export the combined normal map texture, which is kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial for right now. I hope that this has been of help to you. I know that that mesh maps are not paintable message is maddening. How do I just get around it? This is how. I hope that this is of some help to you. And if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Till I see you again, I hope you have a great day and enjoy painting with Substance 3D Painter.